If we look back at the medieval period, we tend to focus on romantic things. Knights on horseback, damsels in distress. But what we forget about are the people that made all of that life possible. The peasants. The farmers who worked in the soil to benefit other people and occasionally themselves. We know what you're thinking late at night, lying there wondering, what have farmers been doing all these years? To answer that question, I'm Terence Lehew, and this is Plowing Through History. Dating back to before the Frankish kingdoms, the feudal system dominated Europe throughout the Middle Ages. It was a political order that was founded on the most important commodity of the day, real estate. The lord or noble owned land. To manage the land, or fiefs as they were known, he had vassals, tenants who would farm and care for his land, often with servants of their own. In exchange for using the land, the vassals would serve the lord in any military service requested, be it to defend their land or attack another's. It was because of the land and property that the lords and nobles held power. Whenever the king of a country needed soldiers to fight in a war, he would call upon his lords who called upon their vassals, and they would become the military might of the day. It was through this system that each manor or estate was managed, raising their own crops and livestock for consumption while selling whatever surplus they might have to villages, towns, or other manors. The agriculture of the Middle Ages was different than that of today. You needed to plow a field? Their tractor was either the horse, ox, or your most annoying child. A mini-revolution occurred when the three-field system was developed. Until that point, most of Europe operated on a two-field system, planting one field with winter crop one year, and the other left fallow, and alternating between the two every year. By using a three-field system, the land was redivided, and one set aside for winter crops, one for summer crops, and one left fallow, again alternating through the three every year year. Though it seems like a simple idea now, at the time it was revolutionary. One might ask, why all this fallow talk? Why not farm everything? Admittedly, that's the way we think today. Now it's as rare to see fallow cropland as it is to see my father in a bathing suit. Farmers and vassals of the Middle Ages didn't use chemical fertilizers on their fields to artificially boost the land's fertility. Instead, they would occasionally throw some manure on a field, let it lay fallow, or to use a more common word, uncultivated, allowing nature to rebuild the fertility naturally. Using a proper crop rotation, these medieval agrarians were able to increase production in an age when food and the ability to grow it was the foundation of the economy. All of this was very important for the nobles. The more food raised, the more people he could keep on the manor, and the larger potential army he could raise. The more people he could arm for his king, the more important the noble became. And you thought the boss was excited when you brought donuts to work. What do you think? Are vassals overrated or do you want one of your own? Who would you make pull your medieval plow? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. We hope you have enjoyed this program. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more fun farm videos, agrarian lessons, and rural humor. You can also check out our podcast, The Intellectual Agrarian, on iTunes, SoundCloud, and Stitcher. As always, I'm Terrence Lehew, and let's keep farming the dream.